Hi friends, my name is Sham and you are watching Sreya Computer Tech Channel. Friends, today is the good news for Samsung Galaxy users. The brand new Android Oreo 8.1 officially launched by Lineage OS 15.1. Android Oreo is the latest and eighth major version of the Android mobile operating system. After the release of Android Nougat, you will see the new UI improvements along with redesigned settings menu. The major seven cool new features which is added in 8.1. First one is picture in picture. Video will switch to smaller minimized versions which you navigate to other apps. Multi display supports. This feature would provide you with the ability to launch an activity say chrome on a remote display like your hd tv background limits this feature will let you to set a limit to what an app can do while operating in the background out of will is the google's own password manager which will use security stores into the information this password manager will automatically fill the username and password so friends please do not skip this video i will tell you a full review in a video ending so keep continue let's go installing So friends, there are three major important steps you have to complete it before installing this ROM. First step is enable developer options in your phone settings. And the second step is unlock your bootloader either with PC or any other apps. The final one is install TWRP recovery or any other recovery in your phone. After completing these three steps, let your phone boot into fast boot mode by press volume up and down and power button simultaneously. When your phone is booted into TWRP, the home screen is appears like this type. We need to take a backup before wiping our data so that we can restore our original ROM if anything happens in the start ROM. Simply here friends, click on backup, select in this criteria, boot, recovery, system, data and modem and simply swipe right to take a backup. The backup will take approximately 3 to 4 minutes. After it will finish, then we go to home screen to wipe our temporary data. Press on back button, press on wipe, select your friends, advance wipe, when screen appears, select Dolby Not Cache, System, Data and Cache. These are mostly important for wiping our system before we are get any error and bugs. Simply swipe right to wipe data. After the data wiping successfully, then press on back button. Then here. Finally, we are going to install a stock ROM. Press on install. Select here custom ROM which you have copied from the PC or directly download from the internet. After selecting this ROM, simply swipe right to install. After it finishes successfully, then we are going to install a GApps versions. Click on back. Select here friends a GApp versions which is suitable as comfort with you. I will choose the nano version which attracts nearly 160 MB rather we can install our requirements apps from the play store. The versions of G apps, Talk, Aroma, Nano and Pico. After selecting these, simply swipe right to confirm. Friends, here the G apps were successfully installed in my device. Then final step, we need to wipe a Dalvin cache before we reboot this system, click on wipe cache and swipe right to confirm. Friends, this is the most important step to reboot our phone without any error and bugs. After finishing your wiping, then here press simply reboot system. It will take a 3 to 4 minutes to reboot our phone successfully. I will meet you after my device has successfully rebooted on the desktop. Friends, this is the latest Android version in my device. The Android version is Android Oreo 8.1. I will show you the cool new features and final review. Here when we look up into that menu area, the app notification is directly shown on as like pop-up window. We can manage directly from here without open this application. Friends, this is the notification area. With the compare of Nougat, the color of foreground and background has been changed. And when we have look up into the settings area, the mostly related settings has been segregated in one setting. When we look up into the network and internet, we will find in this criteria a Wi-Fi, mobile network, user data, hotspot, SIM card and many more. And when we look up into the connected device, Bluetooth, cased, printing, USB and what you have to connect it 
from the PC. When we look up into the display setting, we could find its criteria, a brightness level, night light, adaptive brightness. These are all found in display option. When we come into the storage area, this OS will take approximately a 8.43 GB. At the final, before ending this video, I will show you my device properties. Friend, here you can refer my model number and the Android version is 8.1.0. Zero. Security patch is very recent, the 14th January 2018. In this custom room, the security patch and the kernel levels has been updated twice in a month. So friends, hope you like my video and don't forget to subscribe my channel. I will meet you with the next technology updates in my next video. Thank you friends. Bye bye.